In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the quick load function within Contact to quickly load individual .nki files from either a preset menu such as those found in our eDNA libraries or from the files menu if you're using a non-contact player library. For this example, I'll be using the Albion Solstice library and the eDNA patches that can be found within the cassette orchestra presets menu. To start with, we need to open the quick load menu from the options tab here. You'll see that we have three different options here and we can load in a multi, a bank or an individual instrument file. We also have the option to lock the quick load menu if we're not editing it, but I'm now going to unlock this as we're going to begin to edit the menu. The first thing that you might want to do is create an individual folder for the library that you're creating a quick load menu for. You can do this by holding down control on your keyboard, clicking and then selecting add new folder. I'm going to label this solstice as we're going to be using just Albion solstice in this demonstration. The next thing that you might want to do is create subcategories that help you find the individual instrument that you need depending on what genre you're composing for. One way you might do this is by giving them certain star numbers like one star, two star etc. Or what I like to do is to give them specific timbre names to help me organise the presets via timbre. Now that I've created my main category and subcategories, I can now start flicking through the presets menu to decide which presets are my favourites and which ones I want to store in the menu that I've created here. To load one of the presets, simply drag and drop into the contact window or double click on the preset name. We can then play with each preset to figure out whether we like it and whether we're going to put it in our menu. If we do like a preset, we can then drag the title over to the folder that we wish to store it in. To quickly navigate through the presets, you can select the arrow menu here. Or we can skip to any preset we like in the menu and then just drag and drop and replace the current loaded file. Essentially what this means is instead of going to the library folder and navigating to the specific .nki file that we need, we can simply just open the quick load menu, navigate to the library folder we've created and the specific genre that we're looking for and then simply load the .nki file from the menu here. This will save you a bit of time in your workflow when looking for specific patches. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.